Hello, my name is Walid Arabah and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkward Systems. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a new feature available in SOLIDWORKS 2015, which allows you to convert splines into style splines and vice versa. So I'm going to first begin by explaining briefly the differences between a spline and a style spline. So here I drew a very simple spline with three nodes. And about these nodes, we have these handles. Now these handles can be used to augment the tangency of this curve about that node. There are three augmenters. There is the angle, the magnitude, and both. We also have the option of dragging uh, this node around in order to, turn, to change the curvature that way. And there's a couple of issues that could arise when using splines. The first of which is uh, it's very difficult to have very minute changes in the overall curve. So if I just want to change this very slightly, that would be very difficult. So if I just move this angle very if I, if I move this angle around, you can see that the overall curvature and shape moves quite dramatically around this side and that side. Another thing is that this curve is actually quite complex. So if I use this spline to extrude a surface, it's going to be a little bit difficult to have smooth surfaces. So one way around that is to use the style spline. Now, a style spline is nothing more than a Bernstein polynomial. And a Bernstein polynomial utilizes these control vertices in order to define its shape and curvature. Now, it's much easier for SOLIDWORKS to calculate these curves. Now, what that means is that your surfaces are going to be a lot smoother if extruded from a style spline. Something else that you might have noticed is that by moving this control vertex, it's a lot easier to have very finite changes in the overall curvature, uh, rather than the huge changes that we saw when moving the handles in the regular spline. So those are the differences between a spline and a style spline. Now let's imagine that we were in the middle of a design project of a bicycle frame, and we realize at some point that the shape of the top tube isn't quite to what we want it to be. So let's get into the sketch defining that shape. What you'll notice is that this shape is defined predominantly by these two splines. So if I wanted to move the handles around to change that shape, it's going to be changed quite dramatically overall. And in this instance, that could be uh, quite problematic. First of all, there are a lot of curves that are dependent. Sorry, there are a lot of uh, surfaces that are dependent on the sketch. So if I make that change, which is quite dramatic, and then exit the sketch, there's a high probability that you're going to get rebuild errors. The second issue is that, as a designer, I only want to change the shape very, very minutely. So what I can do in, 20, in SOLIDWORKS 2015 is highlight the splines and convert them to style splines directly. So SOLIDWORKS replaces those splines with these style splines. And conversely, I can highlight those style splines and convert them back into splines. So now I can have these control vertices available to me. And as you can see, the overall curvature remains the same, but I have this finite change in the curve. So I have the ability to change them very, very slightly. Now, in this instance, it's also a good idea to make finite changes because as I exit the sketch, it's going to want to rebuild with all those surfaces that are dependent on this sketch. And if I made huge changes, there's a high probability that the whole part wouldn't rebuild. Now, we can see that everything has been integrated seamlessly into my overall design. And we have the changes that we wanted to make initially. So just to recap, in SOLIDWORKS 2015, you have the ability to convert splines into style splines and vice versa. So as we can see in this instance, if you have a spline that is embedded into your design, you can just highlight and change them directly without having to delete and ruin your geometry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.